Hi, my name is Roger and my channel is about being a musician and all things surrounding a musician. And in my series, Does Gear Matter? We're gonna compare some Rhodes. Fender Rhodes pianos. We're gonna compare some synthesizers and software instruments to this one, the real thing. <laughs> This is the real thing. It's a Fender Rhodes Mark 173, probably from 1973. I bought this a long time ago for about $150. I will probably get like $2,500 for it now. And this is not in great condition. It's okay, but not great. But it still works and it sounds great. But what I consider maybe more important than the sound when I play the Rhodes is the playability, how it feels when I play it. That I can go from soft to aggressive and hard with only the velocity and the attack of my playing. That's maybe more important to me than the sound actually and I considered that when I compare it to other things. Therefore, I have already discarded a few of my Rhodes plugins and synthesizers. I have a lot of synthesizers and plugins that can sound like a Rhodes. For example, the Logic's own vintage piano, which I discard immediately. It doesn't sound like a Rhodes. The feel is better than the sound, but the sound is so far away, I had to discard it. I actually like that piano when I'm writing songs. It's also very good sound when you're singing on it. it. It fills up the headphones in a good way so you can be really in tune with the harmonies. The second is the Lounge Lizard electric piano. I don't think the attack of the piano is as the Rhodes at all. I also discarded the Arturia electric piano. I don't have that plugin, but I have the analog lab and it's included in that. And also in all plugins and synthesizers I took away all the effects like reverb. I also recorded everything in mono because a real Rhodes is in mono. The sound of the Arturia is actually really good, but the playability is not. I don't feel I have the same dynamic, the dynamic control as I have with the real roads and other things. To have some background I could play the roads on, I just programmed some drums. I used the drum samples that I have on my webpage, which you can have for free if you sign up to the newsletter. You can always unsubscribe anytime, do whatever you want, it's your life. And then I recorded some bass. And I chose just a four chord pattern. It's a G minor 7, C7, F major 7 via a C to D minor 7. As you can hear, I play the same riff with all my synthesizers. The first two bars, I play the same riff. And with the things we're gonna test now, I then improvised a little bit just to play around with the roads. And the first thing we're gonna listen to is, of course, the Fender Rhodes itself. stage 2 and I chose the low deep sample. You can have a lot of different samples in a Nord but I chose the low deep because I thought it was closest to the real thing and also most plain so to speak. This I really like to play on. It doesn't really sound exactly like a Rhodes but the playability is really good. <laughs> The 
third thing I want to compare is a software instrument. It's Native Instruments Contact, and it's the from Vintage Pianos, the SCAR B Mark I. I think this is really good, actually. It also is a sound that's really good if you want to use virtual amps and things like that. <laughs> I could have chosen a few of my other synthesizers, my Yamahas for example, I have a CP88 that have a good Rhodes, not good in terms of sound but in playability, it's, it's really nice to play. Let's listen to the first two bars in solo of the Rhodes, the Nord and the Native Instruments. So what is your favorite? Do you have a favorite of these? For me it's simple. This gives me inspiration. I write songs on it. I sit and play for hours with only this sound because it inspires me. And the furniture and all things that's built into this thing also gives me inspiration and I feel that I'm playing a real instrument. All these things sounds really good and in a mix you won't be able to hear which one is which. So it's sort of up to you. If you're out for roads and you only want the sound, go with a software instrument or a Nord Electro or something that isn't that expensive. If you want inspiration, try to find the real thing. In my first video of this series, I compared three vocal microphones. You can find it around here. And the Swedish word of today is real. Real in Swedish is riktig. Riktig. Until next time, Roger that.